Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to sunny northern Illinois. It's about time. It's been cold and gloomy. It's supposed to be in the upper 30s today, 40s tomorrow, maybe close to 50 on Sunday. That is, this is Friday right now, so that's going to be a beautiful thing. Hopefully the girls are out flying. It's just about time. So we're out working in the bee yard. If you watched my video, uh, getting the bee yard ready for 2020, I'll put the link up here for that. This is like the beginning stages of this project here, but I've got most of it put together. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. Maybe somebody could use the idea. It seems to be working pretty well. And you can see here, I've got all these two by fours screwed down. I've got 11 spots for girls for their hives. And I'm going to just show you really fast. I forget what this thing measured out at, but there's there's enough spots for 11 for 11 hives. And what I'm going to do, my here's my plan. All right, my plan for what's how this is going to start. <coughs> I've got like I've got 11 spots. I've got two. And here's like a little tip. I usually whenever I buy a package, which I was I wasn't going to buy anything this year. I was just going to just split these hives and make my own. So I don't got to buy bees every year. But I thought I'm going to buy two more packages. But I only bought two pound packages i didn't buy three they're a little bit cheaper in the first year whenever i start a package i just leave them i don't plan on taking honey off them i just let them grow and grow and that's what i did over there on a couple of them and they grew really really big and they grew really really big in their supers or i'm sorry in their deeps i i wound up it turned into a double deep i was just packed with bees i got my fingers crossed Talking to the good man upstairs, everybody's still alive and doing really good. Um, but I don't plan, I didn't plan on taking any honey off of those hives that I started last year. I just wanted them to grow and grow and grow. I just left them alone. So that's why I started out with the two pound package, because it's just cheaper. It, it, you save yourself almost $20 compared to depending on where you live. I'm just up here, where I'm at, the feed store I get them from. It's like $18 or $19 cheaper for a two pound than a three pound. And if you look at the amount of bees when you dump them in, I mean, obviously it's less bees, it's one pound less, but it's still a lot of bees. But if you don't plan on taking any honey, you just want them to grow, why not save yourself almost 40 bucks on two packages? So what I'm gonna do, I've got two two pound packages of carniolas coming. They're gonna go right here in these first two spots. And then what I'm gonna do from over here, with all the hives over there, when I do all my splits over there, I'm gonna take and move the splits over to this end down here. So I'm planning on splitting everybody and moving them over here. And these will be my honey production hives for next year. And then over there, I'll be putting supers on them, obviously, and making honey off of them. I've got so many people that want honey. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I've got so many people that want honey, it's crazy. Uh, I've got people that if I had a five gallon pail, they'll buy it. They don't care what it costs, they're just gonna buy it. So some of the people just love the, the local honey for their allergies. They love how it tastes. Um, so I've been pretty fortunate that way and, and like I said eventually my plan for next year is to put one more row of these right here so there's 11 here another 11 that'd be 22 and that's enough and then when I start having to do splits and I'll start selling nukes um, that's that's kind of like my game plan for the future so as it, as it grows because obviously you got to split your highs if you don't split them they're going to leave on their own so <clears throat> my plan is to uh, do is start selling nukes. That ain't gonna happen this year because I want to grow this a little bit bigger, obviously. Unless somebody really, really wants one, but I don't think I'll be selling anything this year. So, anyway, really quick, let me just show you how I do this. It's not too tough. This isn't rocket science, but I've got a few more boards to screw down. And what I do in between, as you can see, in between here. See this in this video. Hold on. I got one of my one of my uh, screen bottom boards out here that I brought out. This one's not finished yet. The other one's got to be got to be painted. Uh, but I brought this out just as, like as a template so you could see so I could fit these. So once I screw these two by fours down, they're screwed down. I don't got to mess with them. So all I, these are fit perfect for right in the here. See? They fit right in between 
Let me get this over here. So these fit real nice in between here. And then what I'll do is I'll put eyelets. I got a bunch of eyelets here. And I just take these eyelets and screw them down on either side. So when I want to, in the winter time, when I want to strap the hives down, I'll put an eyelet here and an eyelet on the other side. So, and then in between, Try not to keep the camera too far away so you can hear me. I didn't bring my cordless mic out here with me. And then in between each hive, I've got a piece of one by eight. Now this is all treated lumber also. You wanna use treated lumber. Don't just buy pine, yeah, it's cheaper, but it's gonna rot. You wanna buy treated lumber, it's made, this is like made for, you know, decks, decking, outside. it's made for to be outside in the weather. It will discolor. It's green right now, that's the, treat, that's the treatment that they, I'm not sure what it is when they put in it, but when it's treated, it's green lumber. So um, this won't eventually, maybe in 20 years it'll rot, but um, you wanna use green lumber. You don't wanna do, use just straight pine. That'll just rot on you. So you wanna buy treated lumber, but what I do is I put a piece of one by eight in between. So when I'm working on the hives, I've got somewhere frames whichever box you're working on whatever hive you've got some more pressure frames on or your tools or whatever you might have so I put a one by eight just cut them there these are all just two feet apart so I've got this design to where the boards all the two by fours are all two feet so I don't want to waste lumber so uh, these are all just cut two feet apart so what I'll do All I do is I'll take my screen board, I'll put it right here, I'll start the first one, I like to use these galvanized decking screws, they're gold, and here again they're made for outdoors, these are made for when you're putting up decks, I keep falling in the snow. <laughs> They're just gold screws is all they are. These are, what, two, uh, two and a half inch screws. And I just start these. Like to leave just a little bit of a gap right here just so when it rains obviously the water could run off so I don't butt this all together real tight and I'll use four screws total if you just use one screw on either side the board could because uh, when this green lumber starts to dry out it could twist so I'll use four screws This is beautiful out. The sun is out. It's great. I've been waiting for my neighbor's flags across the street to start blowing out of the south. The air is supposed to be coming out of the south and warming us up. I can't wait. It has been so cold lately. Okay, and another thing that I like to do is when I put these together here, I don't butt these real tight up against this either. I want it to have just a little bit of a play because sometimes wood swells, especially in the summertime. 
So I'll, I'll make sure there's just a little bit of play in between here. Like I said, this isn't rocket science. This is real easy. You, you can kind of design your own thing. This seems to work out well. It seems to work out well for me. Maybe some, maybe somebody could use this idea. I just thought I'd share it. These gold screws work really nice. Now, when I got this, my one by eight, I'll go in between here. But I'm a little short on the end here, so I want to make sure I've got this space right. So what I'm going to do, uh, oh, here it is. So that's going to go there. That'll go there, okay. So now for the one by eights. What do I got here? I got just a shorter screw. These are just inch and five eighths. Uh, these gold, same thing, these gold decking screws. So they work out pretty nice. You're only going through a half inch of, you're only going through a half inch of lumber, so you don't need it, you'll need something real long. We'll just take this. I'll leave a little bit of a gap there for rain, snow, whatever. Again, I'll use four screws. If you only put two screws, it's going to warp on you. It will bend eventually. All right, here again. I just leave a little bit of a gap right here. There you have it. Now, when I get down to the end here, I don't have enough room. I don't got enough length here to add a, a board in between, like, you know, one of those one by eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a gap right here. Put this here. I'll leave a little gap just for the water to get through it. Oh, I got hive, you know, I got hives next to each other here. I'll have a, I'll just have a little space to rest the frames on, but that's all right. There you have it. Ready for bees. 
now these are all set. I've got 11 spots. Like I said, my two new packages will go down there. When I make my splits, I'll move them to the far end over here. My hive numbers are probably going to be... I like, I like to have all my hives in order number-wise, but sometimes that doesn't work out that way. So, so anyways, <coughs> you can see what... Let me pull back here. You can see what this looks like. There, now if you look at all this... There, now if you look at all this... All those spots are all nice and good. We're ready to put bees out. Some of those boards are just awful. That was old. Yeah, some of those four by fours are, are just a hair crooked, but those were old boards. Those were boards that I had. Uh, so why go buy why go buy more than you have to? It works out perfectly fine. Once they're all screwed down, it's not going to go nowhere. So some of those are just a hair crooked, but they're all treated. They've been they've been around here for a long time. They're nice and dry. So that worked out perfect. So now, like I said, next year I'll add another row here, and we should be good. So hopefully you guys, you know, kind of like this idea. Like I said, we're getting ready. March is around the corner here. Bee season is going to be starting. You know, the weather's going to be breaking pretty soon. Girls will be out flying. I can't wait to get in there and see exactly what's going on. Like I said, I got my fingers crossed. Um, everybody seems to be okay. I was listening to them yesterday. They all sound good. Also, when you watch this video, and I'll leave, I'll leave the video at the, I'll leave the uh, the link at the end of this video. If you watch my experiment that I did, if you've seen that already, if you haven't, I'll link it at the end of this video. <clears throat> what I did is I've got dry sugar in there, and I did peek in one of the hives yesterday. It was kind of quiet. Um, but then when I looked in there, they were they were there. But I mixed I mixed I mixed dry sugar with pollen substitute, and then I got to thinking, and they still weren't taking it, which is telling me there's plenty of honey in the hives. But I got to thinking, I wonder what they like better. So I went in there a while ago. It was a warm enough day. I opened the hives real quick. I took half of the sugar pollen substitute mix, and I added white sugar. So I've got those trays, and I'll do a video. I will do an update video on this, weather permitting. So I've got half the tray has got plain white sugar. The other half the tray has got sugar with pollen sub. I want to see what my girls like better. Just in general, if the bees like it, if they like, you know, the, the mixture or they like the white sugar. When they're out flying, they go in my pollen feeders. They're all over that thing. So they're definitely taking the pollen uh, when they come out. So we'll see what happens this weekend. It's supposed to warm up pretty good. Maybe even this afternoon. That sun is getting higher and the warm air is coming. So maybe they'll be out flying later. We'll see. But... I'm gonna do an update video on that because when I made the video, which you'll see, I couldn't, I had to do it so fast because of the weather. I didn't have time to go with the camera. I didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to just change it out real quick and shut them back up. But I will do it when the weather's nice so I can, I can film it and you guys can see inside the hive and see what it looks like. So like I said, watch that video. I said, I'll leave it, I'll leave the link to that at the end of this one. Watch that video on my little experiment. I always like to do experiments to see how bees, what they react to, what they like better, what they don't like. So anyways, uh, hopefully that video will be, I'll be able to do that video soon. So anyways, hopefully you like this idea. I think it looks pretty darn good. I've got, I've got plenty of room now, plus I've got all that room over there. So I've got plenty of room for expansion. I can make my splits and I can separate them far enough. My two new packages, once I get those, I'll do a video on that, installing those. And we'll let those two grow and that's where they're gonna stay until next year. And uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. My, my plan is to double everything I got here right now by the end of the year, so we'll see. So anyways, hopefully you like this video. Do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know if you guys build your own this way, if you stand the bricks up and put the, if you put your four by fours on bricks standing up. Some people do that, they stand them up and it works just fine. I like laying them down. I think they got more stability that way than standing. I just feel like they could tip. But I know people that do it and they're perfectly fine. But I just lay them flat. It works out good. I've got that pro rib underneath there to kill up, to keep all the weeds down. So let me know in the comments below how you guys kind of set your hive stands up. If you do it this way, if you stand your bricks up, if you buy, or if you build individual stands for your hives. This seems to work out really good with the cinder blocks and the 4x4. So anyways, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button support the channel i really appreciate it when you do subscribe hit the little bell next to that subscribe button this way you'll get notified every time one of these videos comes out you don't want to miss another video 
Um, and that's about it. Uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. Questions, comments, please leave them, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.